Hi guys, so this video is going to be um, a video about, you know, blush and bronzers. Um, I guess, like in my foundation routine, it doesn't really take me that long to put the blush and bronzer, but since I'm talking and demonstrating and showing you the products, um, it's kind of taking a long time. So, um, yeah, so if you want to find out how to do the blush, it's not even showing, but I'll put um, a picture at the end of the video so you'll see how it looks like. Um, so, yeah, keep watching this video. Okay, so I'm going to be using my mm, my go-to bronzer, which is the MAC, sorry, MAC Bronzing Powder, and this is in Refined Golden, I don't know if you can see. Okay, it's refined golden. I love this um, bronzer because it's not really that dark, um, and it also has like gold speckles on it, like you can see right there. So okay, and I'm just gonna grab my what do you call it, blush brush or something. It's just a round top brush like this or fluffy brush like this, and this is from Mac Two, and this is Mac One O Nine. So I will just grab just a tiny bit, like just a little swivel, and you can see right there the product. And I will just tap it because I really don't want that much um, bronzer because you don't want to look like, um, what you call it, an over, uh, what's that word? Contoured face. Yeah, because I love contouring my face, but I don't want to be like an over contoured face. It's just ridiculous. So I tapped it, right? And... I'm just going to put it where my um, cheekbone is, or um, not cheekbone, where um, below the cheekbone is um, for here. There's a hollow part right there. And by the way, I already did my foundation routine and everything except for powder. Um, if you find out how I do the foundation routine, I'll put the link down below. So um, if you want to find out how to um, or where to, you know, find your cheekbone or the hollows of your cheekbone, just do the, um, you can do two ways, either um, do the fishy face, which which is I think the easiest one, and that they say it's for beginners, but you know, so do the fishy face, like suck in um, your cheeks, and then you'll see the hollows, um, and that will, that's where you're supposed to put your bronzer, so the fishy face is like this, like, and as you can see, there would be a hollow spot right there, like, right there. So that's where you're supposed to put your um, bronzer because it's supposed to be where the sun hits your face. Um, it's supposed to cast, like, a little shadow or something when you're contouring your face. So um, I find that that's where mostly the sun hits my face. And then, of course, you know, up to the temple and whatnot. So I'll show you guys. And the second um, way to find where the hollow of your cheek is is you touch your cheek like just palpate palpate it's like a nursing term just um you know touch around your face and you'll find um there's a space or like a hollow part between your cheekbone and your jawbone like where your teeth are supposed to be or are if you still have teeth <laughs> it's supposed to be here so that's where you're supposed to put your um bronzer so since I know where it is already, right there, I'll just put it. Let's make sure I have my mirror over here. Alright, so um, if I'm looking this way, it's because of the mirror. So I'll do it in a circular motion like that. I'll do it slow-mo for you guys. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to start here my temples or the bottom of my temples and work down where my the hollows of my cheek cheeks are. So you can see, I don't know if you can see, I already have a dark thing there. So, at the same time, you know, I don't want to create like a straight line, so keep on doing the circle motion. And then work your way up your temples. Sorry, you can see. So, like that. I hope you can see it. I hope I'm in the frame. And I don't really go all the way there. Um, it's just weird like that. I just put it like right here, like on the half of my cheek. 
do just like that. And at the same time, when you do the circular motion, it's kind of um, blending in, like not just straight line. So, um, yeah, and then, you know, do the other side. So, okay, like that. And then um, I'm going to grab just a tiny bit, just like one pack, and just really pack it, like pat it on. And I will put just a tiny bit, like right here in the sides of my nose, just to enhance that, um, you know, make it seem like a nice narrow nose I guess just a tiny bit and then a little bit on the chin I don't know why but I just put it there and then just a tiny bit on the forehead and then that is it for the um, bronzer and I also use the same brush I just like dust it off a little bit so just the same brush and then any blush that you have my favorite as the moment well not really as of the moment because I've been using this like for months and months um, it's the Rock and Republic and this is in Tease Sorry, it's so bright. There you go. In peace. And it's just a pink blush with a purple undertone. Right there. I think. Yeah, you can't even see the color. So, this one I have to really um, pack it on a brush because this is, um, whatchamacallit, it's kind of a sheer application, so I have to pack it on. But um, it comes up as a nice color. So, and then put it on the apples of your cheek, and you'll see where the apples of your cheek is when you smile, like that. Natural smile, or you can do like a whole teeth smile, like that. And where um, there's like a bulge right there, that's the apples, apples of your cheek, and that's where you're supposed to put your blush. Not like right here, not like over right here. It's like, it's a big um, space right there where you're supposed to put your blush. So, like that. And I work my way um, towards where my bronzer is. And at the same time, I dust it downwards so it will blend in, um, you know, with the bronzer. So, and I um, dust it sideways too. Make sure that it's the whole cheek that's covered, not just like, you know, it's right here. I don't know if you can see because my lighting is pretty bad. So yeah. Okay, after like that, I don't really leave it just like that. Um, I use a kabuki brush. Any kabuki brush you have, a small one will work fine as long as it's, you know, fluffy and stuff. Um, this is from Sigma the SS182. This is an old numbering system. Um, I lightly brush it um, on my cheeks and kind of blend in everything like the blush and the bronzer. So just lightly blush it and do the circle motion to um, blend in the bronzer. And do the same one on the side. So if you can't see how it is, I mean, I'll try to put a slideshow or a picture at the end of this video so you'll see how the blush looked on my face because the lighting is just pretty bad. So, I'm sorry about that. So, that is that, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a few tricks and how to, like, have that nice blush effect. Um, a natural blush effect in your face. So, yeah. And, um, like I said, links will be down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <music>